Hey, it's Force Restart here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a Force Restart or Reset on your iPhone XR or the XR. Now, this is something you want to do if you're having issues with your iPhone, if you're feeling it's slow, it's glitching, or there's any bugs. This is the first recommended thing that Apple recommends you doing whenever you're having any sort of issue. So, let's show you how to do it. So, in order to do a Force Restart on your iPhone XR, it's really simple. It's a sequence of button you have to follow. It's going to be first is of locating your volume up and down button which is going to be on your left hand side here you're going to press the volume up followed by volume down and then after that you will hold the side button on your right hand side till the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo reappear at that point you let go of that button and it will reboot normally so to show you that in real time I press volume up and then volume down and then I hold the side button just like that it's going to say to slide to power off but I'm not going to touch that I'm simply going to keep on holding the button forcing it to completely shut down and then once the Apple logo reappears I'll let go of that button so as you can see here I'm waiting and then I see the Apple logo I let go of that side button and for some reason if you press the sequence of button and Siri activated that means you didn't press volume up and volume down one after another quick enough so make sure you do press volume up and down one after another quick before holding that side button again this method as I mentioned shuts down the phone completely and then reloads the code itself so that if there was any issues with the code itself it will fix that software issues that you might be happy and the other thing is this does not delete any of your personal data like apps photos videos anything on your phone will everything will still be there as you can see here nothing has been deleted on my phone again go ahead and try this if you're having any issues with your iPhone I highly recommend it it's something Apple even recommends to do after you update your phone here and there so hopefully you guys found this video helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time